Okay, here we go again. So back at it. So we're now we're in dudes. We're going to continue to kind of dive in deeper to what's going on. A couple of concepts. We're going to do something, introduce something called Ohm's law. And Ohm's law is the mathematical relationship between the items that we just talked about. So let's um, explore that a little bit by uh, changing the voltage of the battery. So um, what do you think will happen to the light if I make the voltage higher? Was that obvious? Um, and if I make the voltage lower, right? And if it's a dead battery, you get no light, right? And so um, anyways, so here we are with the first one. The greater the voltage, the more the uh, current tries to go through, which makes it uh, a brighter light. Okay, let's change the resistance. So this light um, causes resistance, provides resistance to the current flowing through the wires, which makes it vibrate and uh, put off heat and light. So what happens if I change the resistance? All right, so changing the resistance slows down the current. Even though the battery is strong, um, it slows down the current and, um, you know, doesn't allow as much electricity to, to flow through. With, with electricity, with less electricity flowing through, you'll get less light, of course. And so I've cranked up the um, the um, resistance in the light bulb, and so not as much electricity is flowing through. I can go back to the battery, and I can crank that up. And you'll see that you have a situation where the, now the battery and you know has caused it to be brighter again. So what is the mathematics behind this? It's actually pretty simple. I'm gonna I'm gonna max out the battery all the way to 120. And I'm going to put the voltage of the, sorry, the resistance of the um, of the light at 60 ohms. And then we're going to take a look at that, okay? Um, so 120 volts, 60 ohms. And we're going to introduce something called Ohm's Law. So once again, we have current is the letter I measured in amps. Volts is the letter V measured in volts with the V. And resistance is the letter R and it's measured in ohms, which is the funny upside down horseshoe. Okay, the mathematical relationship we have is something called Ohm's law, and I'm going to draw Ohm's law like a triangle. Even though this is V equals IR, I'm going to draw Ohm's law like a triangle, like this. And I'm going to split it up, like this. And my triangle, and I'm going to draw it a little bit smaller right here because I'm putting numbers in there actually. So my triangle works like this. V is here. V is equal to I times R. Okay. So um, what does that have to do with respect to our um, little thing over here? Um, I just, uh, hold on a second here. I made it, I made it smaller. I want to make it uh, bigger. There it goes. And there we go. So what is happening to this um, when you... Um, Where'd I go? Okay, so this is 60 ohms of resistance. And so I'm going to write um, 60 ohms right here. My pen is not working. There we go, 60 ohms. And the voltage is 120 volts. And it's the same thing as V equals I over R. I mean, V equals I times R. So we get V equals I times R. Just another way to look at it. So 120 is my volts. I is my unknown. And R is 60 ohms. So what goes there? Well, this is a nice visual because it's very easy to see what goes there. That is 2 amps. And so that is um, really um, what Ohm's law is about. It's telling you the, the proportions of V, I, and R are always the same within a single circuit. So I can do that again. Uh, let's change the... Um, Let's change the properties here so I can go a little bit farther out here in my width. Let's go out to 15 wide so I can actually zoom this over a little bit. So let's do the same thing. We have Ohm's Law. And um, where'd my pen go? So we have V equals I times R. And so if I change this, let's go to... Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. Let's check it. So how do we check it? We uh, check this with what's called an amp meter or an ammeter. And so here's my ammeter, and it says, hey, what's the current? If I put it like this, it doesn't tell the current. Um, if I put this on here and I say, hey, what's the voltage? 
Um, here it's going to say how much voltage I have. Well, I have one appliance. If I put it on there, and um, there we there we go, 120 volts. I reverse it. Um, it makes it positive instead of negative, so we get the idea. Okay, that's fine. Voltage is measured that way. Uh, but how is amps measured? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it. Because what amps do is amps measure the amount of electrons going through. And so in order to measure this, I have to connect the amp meter so it's in the line. So all the electrons will actually go through the system. And it um, will measure how many electrons are going through. It's a little bit like having the little hose on the road where when you drive over it, the city's like doing some work, right? So they put this little black hose on the road and you can bump up over it with your car. And what that hose is doing is it's counting the amount of cars going by. And so this is the same idea. It's going to count the number of electrons going by. And in this situation, we have two amps and we have two amps there. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to do this one more time, V equals IR, and let's, let's change it. Change it to anything, okay? So I'm going to uh, take my little uh, thing here. And uh, let's change it to whatever we want, okay? Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And we're going to change the battery uh, voltage, I don't know, to, um, let's go 40. 40 volts. And so we got 40 volts here. And let's change the, um, the uh, resistance here. And... Um, Let's just go up a little bit. Let's go. And if you see, as the resistance goes up, the current goes down. So I'm just going to go up. Um, and this is not going to give me exact amount. Let's see. Let's go up to um, 80. Here we go. We're at 80. OK, so 80. So hopefully that makes sense, because 80 ohms. What times 80 will give me 40? Well, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 amps times 80, so this is also true, is 40 equals 0 0.5 times 80. And that is what's called Ohm's Law. And uh, I'll stop it, we'll do an, a simple problem, and then we'll do a little more complicated one.